right. Um, I want these these transfers. So, Baron, three transfers. We'll do one each. We'll go around. One, right. so the first transfer you think may happen next season. Declan Rice to Arsenal. I can see it. Ha- it has to happen. If Arsenal want to be challenging, things like that. I mean, I'm saying to a bloke at work today, I can't believe how far Arsenal have come. If someone had told me two years ago, or 18 months ago, that we'd be in a lot, lot in the running to sign Declan Rice, I'd have laughed at him. I'd have said, no, he's going to go to Man United, he's going to go to Liverpool, he's going to go to somewhere there. The fact that we're huh. actually saying that he could be joining us shows you how far we've come. And I don't think, like from rumours I've seen, I don't think, I haven't heard of him being linked to many others apart from well, Arsenal. Liverpool, I've seen him linked with Liverpool, I've seen him being linked with Liverpool because obviously they can't get Bellingham now or they, they written Bellingham as a no-go. But yeah. I have read that he is massively a fan of staying in London. He doesn't really want to leave London. Okay. Fact, he's from London. His family live in London. I mean, I don't know if he's got a missus and all that, but he basically his whole life has been in London. So really and truly, he's only Chelsea and Arsenal. Well, Chelsea just paid £100 million for Enzo Fernandez. I can't believe they're going to go in again and buy another holding midfielder. I mean, they might do. I mean, yeah, imagine I having, him and, having him and him as your holding midfielder. You'd be all right, wouldn't you? Yeah. Wouldn't be too bad. And as a West Ham player and fan, it'd be a lot easier to join Arsenal than it is Chelsea, isn't it? Well, yeah, massively. 100%. You'd think. I can see it happening. I can see it. Can I just uh, jump in to save a bit of time and say my first transfer was uh, Declan Rice to Arsenal? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't go with that one. I knew Baron would go with that. No, it's just one of things. I know there's a few people that think you know, Arsenal have had their season and next season they're going to be back to where they normally are. Um, but I don't think they are. I think Arteta's taking his time with his team. He's slowly building it. Um, and I think they'll be in a lot better position than some of the other top as long teams. As, as long as no, no, one, some, no one comes in and steals like a key player, i.e. Yeah. Odegaard or Saka, I think we'll be all right for a couple of years. But if we don't win anything, yeah, if we don't win anything in the next two to three years, I can see the likes of Odegaard, Saka. They're going to be hitting their primes. You know, Saka's going to probably be about 24, 25. He's going to be wanting to play Champions League football every year without doubt. He's going to want to be winning Premier Leagues or whatever, like La Liga's, you know, who says he can't play for Real Madrid? Do you know what I mean? I think think it could be that good. Yeah. Imagine that a couple of years, Real Madrid have Haaland, Saka, and uh, Vinicius with um, Bellingham behind them. Yeah, yeah. Talk about yeah, nah. talk about FIFA football. Yeah, that is a bit ridiculous. Um, so my first one is Harry Kane. He's got. To, he's going to go to Man United, surely. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Surely he has to leave this season. He's has got to. to leave or he has to sign the biggest contract he'll ever sign and sign for a new f- another five years. I can't see him doing a Sol Campbell and walking out next year. No. And no even point, like... There's no point doing that for anyone. He's 31 or whatever he is now, 32. There's no point in him staying another year, you know, hoping they he might win something. Go. The thing is, yeah. though, he's, he's not going to tarnish his you know time at Tottenham. He's still what their record goal scorer... Although he's won, yeah. like, no trophies whatsoever. I don't think any Tottenham fan is going to care if Harry Kane... I know a few like... Tottenham fans that literally, like, just leave. Just go yeah. for your own sake. Uh, yeah. My bosses, uh, but, uh, our father and son, their season ticket holders at Asperger's, they've both said to them, it's, we've got to stop building our team round Kane. That's the problem. Get rid of him and spend the money. Because if they got £100 million for Kane or 80 million for Kane, they'd get two good players in there. They could put Richardson up front. I mean, I don't really rate him, but they... Someone must have seen him. He does well for Brazil. Play him up yeah. top. Or every game, he probably would do all right. They, yeah, they create a lot of chances, right. didn't they? Like for me, Son is another one. It's a completely wasted player at Tottenham. That guy yeah. is so good. Um, and just... But there's a reason why he scored 20 goals last season, or to whatever it was, and got the goal boot. It's because he was playing as like a centre-forward for most of it. Yeah. This season, he's been out on the left, he's been out on the right, he's been playing like attack midfield. He's got, yeah, he's got to go though, hasn't he? Kane, oh, Kane has to think, leave. I think he'll go. Kane's got to leave, or well, maybe Chelsea. Uh, Baron, who's your second one you could see happening? My second signing, um, McAllister 
Alexi McAllister to Liverpool. Seen a few. That. I've seen that linked around uh, a little bit. Um, they need midfielders. I, I can't see him staying at Brighton. I can see all the others staying. I see Casado staying at Brighton. I can see Matoma staying at Brighton. Even that Evan Ferguson is that his name? Yeah, he looks quite good, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I, um, I can see him. Like I can see all them staying at Brighton, but I think McAllister will move on. I mean, he's a World Cup winner. No disrespect yeah. to Brighton. I can't see him thinking oh, I'm going to hang around here. He's got to be playing Champions League. He looks good as well. He, he looks. And mustard. if you, if if you look at that Liverpool team, he's probably exactly what they need as well. Yeah. Oh, he's, he, I really rate him. Good player. Tom, who's your second? Uh, my one is going to be James Madison to Newcastle. Uh-huh. Um, I think Leicester will go down. Um, I don't like to see it because I think, you know, they've reached so high in the Premier League and to see them just now sink so low. Um, but obviously, James Madison is not going to be playing in the Championship next season. I see... I see this uh, on, I think it was on um, TalkSport Radio. Um, Spurs fans, it, would you rather have Leicester's last 10 years and be relegated this season, or would you like, like rather have what you're doing at the moment? My, thinking that in the last 10 years, Leicester won the Championship, won the Premier League, won an FA Cup, and are probably potentially going to get relegated. Mad, or do you want to? Or do you want to just? Or do you, would you rather have just like basically spent ten years in fourth spot, made one Champions League final? It is it's hard mad, isn't because it? it's mad, isn't it? Know, yeah, I just don't think you're going to know where going to Leicester are going to end up because their wage bill must be absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah. man, they shouldn't be where they are. No, they? not it's at all. Think of the players no. they're going to lose next season if they go down. Yuri Tellemans is out of contract. I mean, I'd yeah, have him at Arsenal. I'd take him straight away. Vardy will be gone. I know he don't, obviously. Vardy, yeah. Stay. I think Vardy will probably stay there. I think Vardy's sort of come to the end of his game now, hasn't he? he ain't, yeah. He's been injured most of this season. He hasn't really scored any goals. Three in a year, ain't it, or something? He scored. Is that what he... Yeah, do you know I mean? he's not yeah. really the player he was. But um, I like that Harvey Barnes. I think he's good. Yeah, Can't see him know. staying there. No, who's the other one they got? Jewsbury Hall, was it? Jewsbury Hall, yeah, teams. like the midfielder sort of thing, yeah. I mean, I just I think their defence is quite shaky. I think, you know, Johnny Evans is sort of past it now, isn't he? I can't believe he's still playing football. That bloke must be a dinosaur. Um, yeah. I mean, that Suzuki or whatever his name is, a Turkish lad, he looked quite good, but he's been injured a lot of this season. I think one of the biggest mistakes they made this season is not re- like not buying a goalkeeper. Yeah, and I don't get the Brendan Rodgers. I don't yeah, think I mean, they'd be in the position they are if Brad Jobs were still no, there. No, I would have kept Brendan Rodgers and I think they should have brought a goalkeeper at the start of the season. Um, mm. They lost, like, arguably one of the best Premier League goalkeepers in Casper Schmeichel and replaced him with Danny Ward, who'd played, like, a handful of games for Liverpool, I think it was. Yeah, shocking. Um, yeah, I just don't think it was a good idea. And now they've swapped to that Everson, who I don't think he's much better either, really. No, he's been linked with us a couple of times. If because um, all our he? players are getting linked to everyone now, aren't they? I did Brent see Villa looking at Jack Clark and yeah, I did. I see saying this morning about how some of them are about to get rated for like every yeah. player they've got. Yeah, the only good thing is that Ross Stewart got injured, so he might not be off. But yeah, Jack Clark, Roberts, Dennis Serkin's got a release um, buyback clause for Tottenham. Dan Neil, uh, the young French kids. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Um, but my second one was Mane to Newcastle. I think that's where he'll go. I can't. I don't know where else he's going to go. Sadio Mane. He's getting on a bit, ain't he? He's not going to go to a. Bayern don't want him, do they? They want him nah, gone. No, but I mean, he could. He's probably got quite a big contract, doesn't he? Yeah, but then he's not going to get into like a Real Madrid now or Barcelona. I, I, I see him going Newcastle. Him. Yeah. No, I've got a good one. I've got a good one think... for Chelsea in a minute. I was going to say, uh, I was just about to say Chelsea. Yeah, new... I can see that happening. I'll be honest, I haven't really got a third one. Yeah, my third one is one we've kind of already briefly mentioned. It's Drew Bellingham. It's Real Madrid. I think it's obvious. Yeah, I think that's... It's, it's yeah, yeah. I, thought we... Sorry, I thought we were sort of just looking at Premier League here. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think that'll happen. 
I've got one right. Hear me out on this one. Go Chelsea. On. Yeah. Pochettino is going to sign Neymar. Do you think? Well, he's gonna. He wants to leave, doesn't he? He wants yeah. to leave. Mbappe wants him out. He it's could go back to Barca, but I don't know what will they're... Messi, will, Messi go there as well. will Messi go as well? Is Messi going to Barca? He'll go back to Barca, I think. Yeah. He'll either go to Barca or he'll go to Saudi, won't he? Yeah. Like where, where else is Neymar going to go? He won't go to Madrid, I don't think, because of the Barca stuff. He won't go back yeah. to Barca because I don't think they can afford him. Would he not end up at Bayern Munich? If they're going to get Possibly. rid of Mane? If they get rid of Mane... It could be a swap deal. That'd be a good bit of business for both could, clubs, could wouldn't he it? Go, could he go to Italy? Inter? AC. That's in more hope because I'd like to see Neymar play in the Premier League. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. I'd like to see yeah, Neymar be... in the Premier League. I oh, did have another hopefully. Premier League one actually, but I didn't. Go on. I didn't say it. I was going to say Gundogan um, to Barcelona. Yeah. I heard Arsenal are linked. I've seen Arsenal linked with him, but I think that's more He's hope the than. Yeah, but Arsenal shortlisted. I just think Man I mean, we're good Gundogan. They couldn't stand in, his, stand in his way. But I see we're also linked with Cancelo. But I did read about six months ago, in like January, that uh, City were going to try and, at all costs, to stop selling Arsenal their players because they didn't want to make us like their sort of B team that could end up beating them. Which, I mean, just be sense. honest, we, we weren't that far away this season. And apparently yeah. Pep... Uh, I don't know how true this is because it's all what I've read. Pep did ask his recruitment staff, why the hell did they let Jesus and Zinchenko both go to Arsenal when we were like, you know, five points clear of them? Yeah. I was just going to say, would you sign Cancelo if you've... 100%. Got, yeah, anyway. anyway. If you've got 100%. Well, I think Arsenal need a bit more at the back. Now, I'm a big fan of Ben White. Um, big fan. Think he's good right back this year. He is a centre-back. I think we need another centre back. I think we're one centre back short. If you sign Cancelo, he can play left and right back, which is yeah. ideal. And then if you play him at right back, you can play Zinchenko left back, and then you can move Ben White into centre, uh, centre defence if you want to, or you know play left you can back. Your wing backs in centre midfield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, but where does because uh, Kieran Tierney is one for you. Is Kieran Tierney is looking like he'll be at Newcastle? That was it. Twenty-five million looks like that's almost a done deal. That's not bad. Yeah, and um, is... who's the who's the Napoli defender? Japanese kid. He's Japanese. Oh Is yeah, that... Man United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah Asia. We'll, we'll go with Asia. Asia lad. Yeah, that looks like it's a done deal. Yeah, to Man United. He looks a unit. Yeah. He looks like a. He looks like a beast. He looks about fifty as well. Yeah, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a man of a bit. Isn't he like mid twenties or say it? Yeah, something like that. 